it is better as we look at the Brooklyn Bridge. Brooklyn Bridge. There's Brooklyn over there. Manhattan right here. It is better to lose followers. And I'm going to lose a lot of followers on this video. It's better to lose followers by telling sinners the truth. It's better to lose followers by telling the lost man the truth than to lie and lose your soul and go to hell. Now are you listening to me? There's a lot of preachers today lying. Oh, they'll buy the Brooklyn Bridge from you. For one dollar. <laughs> they'll sell the Brooklyn Bridge. They got oceanfront property in Arizona. There's all kind of lies and fables and fibs and fairy tales going on these days. But ladies and gentlemen, let me just tell you this. Let me just tell you this. I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't care if I lose every follower I've got. I don't care if nobody likes me or listens to me anymore. I'm going to tell the truth. Because I'm not going to fall into the fires of hell by lying to you. I'll tell you what a false prophet is. Somebody who preaches something against the Bible. And that's something Mike Dahl has never done. I never will do. I never will preach against the Bible, the word of Almighty God. I'm going to tell you what the Bible says. I'm not a false prophet. I'm a real prophet. I came to this spot two years ago. And I preached a message that millions of people, through 650,000 or so on my page and millions on other fan pages, saw that video called God's Two Minute Warning. God's Two Minute Warning. Well, now we're extending it. A little different theme. We're now in God's two minute drill. God's two minute drill. We're in God's hurry up, no huddle offense. God's two minute drill. And we are approaching, we're in God's red zone. The red zone. It's time to finish strong. It's time to fight and endure and preach this gospel as we never have before. From New York to California. God's two-minute drill is on. We're in God's red zone. The end of all things is at hand. The last days of the end times. Two witnesses are coming. Two witnesses are coming. World War III is raging right now. Ukraine, Israel. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. Seven last plagues. It's all coming. Billions are going to die. Billions are going to fry in hell. The only answer for America and this world is the shed blood of Jesus Christ on Calvary's cruel cross of Golgotha. That is the only way you can have freedom. That's the Freedom Tower right there. You can't see at the top of it because it's in constant fog. It is a dark, dreary day in lower Manhattan. And that is symbolic of how God feels right now, the mood God is in right now. The judgment, the wrath, the vengeance of a jealous God are at hand. Twilight, darkness, clouds, shadows, yeah, all the above. And it's going to get worse. Preachers are lying to you all over social media and in our mega, mega churches. They're saying, like in the words of the old song, I got a feeling everything's going to be all right, be all right, be all right, be all right. Well, look, as I close today, I got a feeling it's not going to be all right. I got a feeling it's not going to be all right. We got to quit going by our feelings. We got to go by our faith. And the Bible says the script that a seven year period of great tribulation is coming, such as the world has never known. No one will ever know. The tribulation period. The mark. The mark. The name. The number. The image of the beast. Antichrist. Apocalypse. Annihilation. Armageddon. They're coming. Are you ready? The only way to be ready is to be saved. To be born again. To be under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Washed in the blood calling america to repentance and calling every american to repent this is an evangelist who loves jesus christ amen